Hello everybody and welcome back to the chateau. It was bright sunshine. It's now been raining. The wind's come. At the moment, as much as it is the start of spring and some wonderful, wonderful weather, it's a bit changeable at the moment. So I have been doing all sorts to try to get the grounds and everything ready in amongst that good weather, getting grass cut, stuff cut back, still getting rid of stuff that's in the house and clearing out. And it's, especially being the start of the spring, I have been thinking, and I do have a little bit of a sad announcement to uh, give you all, but first, a few other bits and pieces. Look at all of that. So I have more I need to do. You want me to leave you alone? <laughs> Fine, I'll leave, you, I'll leave you alone then. So we get loads and loads of comments about lightning and saying, oh, he needs brushing. He gets brushed daily. Uh, he's uh, an Alaskan Malamut cross of the Siberian Husky. Uh, he has, uh, he's sort of double coated. His undercoat is blowing at the moment because the weather is getting warmer, which is why he gets always rather looking rather um, unkempt at the minute, but he gets a daily brush, and as you can see, he doesn't particularly enjoy it. So it's a fight at the moment, and there's hair everywhere. However, that is just one thing that keeps on coming up. Now, we 52,000 of you are now watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. It's wonderful, there's loads of new people, and this question keeps on coming up of, what am I actually doing with the place? As in, as there's always the questions regarding volunteers, B and B, and ultimately, then I don't keep going into it, but we don't do, don't do either of those things. I like my privacy. What we've always done here is the public events for the live music, and we kept some of the. I mean, we managed we managed that one, which was our first ever one, I think, if I remember rightly. And that was just a, a bit of a laugh. I think it even rained that day. Um, and in 2019, of course, which is the year before COVID, we managed to do both. We not only did we did the summer garden party, which was sort of the one of our little things, which I've always loved. We did a beer festival as well, which was a lot of fun. And we were going somewhere. We were growing. It was getting, you know, much better. We were finding our way to get things done properly as well. Uh, and it was going well. And of course, you know, those events were a lot of fun, as you can see, especially if the sun was out. It's always nice for everybody locally to be able to enjoy the place. And that was something that was a real pleasure for me to be able to do. There's lots and lots of equipment which goes with uh, putting that event on the horse box bar, that golf buggy that's in pieces, which is going to be running people up and down the drive from the parking. And obviously when we had the couple of years where the world really all went a bit weird, as we know, uh, of course the events had to stop and then it's been very difficult with my personal life to try to get those going again i did a private event uh, last year which was for my 40th so there was still something that happened at the chateau it was invite only and if you haven't seen what that looked like there's a clip from billy because he filmed it and i, I can, couldn't show better than he could
compared to a public event, it was much nicer to have an invite only uh, event with friends and friends of friends. There was still a decent amount of people here uh, because there was a so much less pressure all the setup costs, everything that goes with the public event, which doesn't come back. Managing people's expectations. If it's a private party, people tend to look the other way. If something isn't perfect, when the public come, they have expectations of uh, what is your home, as uh, sadly sometimes they're wondering why it isn't Versailles. Um, so it was all, always an emotional roller coaster doing the public events. And I'm a massive believer that if you do something, stop doing it, and then don't miss doing it, then perhaps that's everything you need to say. So the sad announcement is because it's the spring, the summer is on its way and people are already thinking about it. And I get this question asked a lot, and so I best answer it. The, the sad announcement is that I will not be doing any public events this year and... The way I am feeling about it is I don't know if I ever will again. Uh, which lots of people will be sad to hear because um, I always get it. You know, I see people because obviously we've got the bar still. I, I see people in the bar. I see people in town who always ask, you know, oh, I came to that event. It'd be wonderful, please. And I get messages from people in the UK who are saying, I'm coming across in the summer. Tell me your dates because I will time it with one of those events. And... I feel like I'm letting those people down a little bit, but for my own benefit, I'm going to not do another public event here, especially this year. You might be able to change my mind for years after because I want to concentrate on getting this place in order along with really my day-to-day -day life. And that is so much stress, so much work for the public event. That's not what I want this year. However, I am going to do a invite only party like last year um of course i'll call it my birthday party because it'll be somewhere near that and there will still be a good few people here enjoying themselves and enjoying the house which is a really important thing and there it will obviously keep that sort of theme of what the what the chateau does alive well, then maybe, then maybe that'll be able to change my mind regarding the future. Maybe that will change the future. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, that is a sad announcement. There will be no live music events uh, for the public from the Chateau this year. We'll do loads at the pub, um, as we always do. But there won't be any from the Chateau this year. Uh, and I do, the way my mind is feeling is I don't think I will do them ever again. However, as I said... You never know what the future might bring and whether my mind can be changed or not, but this year, certainly not. Um, tomorrow, back with the work because I've delayed pulling that bath out of that cupboard and opening that door up because my parents, my stepdad and my mum were going to be coming across in April and now I would have put them in that bedroom because it would be been easier on the stairs rather than putting them upstairs. And they're not going to now, so now it's going to be full steam ahead with getting that done. And I'm looking forward to, with all of these showers over the next couple of weeks, uh, we're really working on um, that bedroom suite that I want to create. So thank you so much for watching. I I'm hope that has answered a, a question which comes up on a regular basis. And I look forward to getting back to some solid work tomorrow. See you next time.